I gotta turn it off. I gotta, I gotta do the video, right? Hey, you might need to check that one out because I could just groove to this one all day. It's called Big Moody by King Sis. You might want to check this out on Epidemic Sounds. That's where I got it from. Either way, this video is not about that song. It is about this speaker, the JBL Charge 5. Hey man, short story, JBL Charge 5 is JBL's best speaker, okay? it's undebatable. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and fight with you. I'm just gonna tell you why it's their best speaker and tell you how it's been after owning it for nine months. This is my favorite JBL speaker. Well, it runs a very, very tight second or tight first and second with the JBL Boombox 3, which is a fantastic speaker. It is the speaker to beat as far as king size portable speakers that are not dubbed party speakers. But back to the Charge 5. Hey, this is the speaker that you want to grab and go with. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, it's because of its aesthetics, it's because of its shape, the form factor and the battery life, and of course the sound quality. I saw someone in my comments one time saying, uh, you know, like who buys a speaker because of the way it looks? <laughs> well, <laughs> Yeah, you buy a speaker because of the way it sounds, but the overall aesthetics do play a major part in speakers and headphones. You could just ask the people over at Beats, you know? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> it does make a difference how something looks. And the JBL Charge 5 looks fantastic in my opinion. Uh, and we're gonna get into all the elements of why I've really loved this speaker. And it's been one of my favorites, if not my favorite, uh, over the last nine months, man, since I got it. So as far as things go, in my opinion, the JBL Charge 5 is JBL's best speaker, and that is because of its bang for the buck, its portability and its audio quality compared to other speakers that can even be bigger than this one. So as you're carrying this thing around, you're gonna notice that it does have a little bit of heft to it, but it's not overly heavy. And it is, you know, it's it's considered a, uh, man, it's a palmable speaker, so it's on the larger, but it's on the larger side, but it's not as small and dainty as a JBL Flip or something that small because those speakers cannot produce this kind of sound. The JBL Charge 5 actually punches above its weight class. It actually really competes with its older brother or bigger brother, the JBL Extreme 3. So I feel like you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting like Flip, almost JBL Flip 6 size, but you're getting JBL Extreme 3 sound even though I think this one actually sounds better as far as quality than JBL Extreme 3. You've already seen that video. By the way, if this is your first time checking out my channel or a JBL video from me, uh, there's a lot of things I'm not gonna go into because I have done several videos about this speaker. I suggest you check out my playlist and see those videos. But now I wanna get into battery life. This is actually the second longest lasting speaker in JBL's lineup. The longest lasting would be a full 24 hours or up to 24 hours with the JBL Boombox 3. The JBL Charge 5 is gonna give you up to 20 hours of playtime. That's if you keep it at a moderate, uh, uh, moderate volume level. Let's say 30% would be max to pull out, you know, about that 20 hour battery life. But you can also charge your phone or tablet or whatever device off of this. None of the other speakers in JBL's lineup have that feature. Well, mm, maybe the JBL Boombox 3, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but that's what this one is actually design, is designed for, to share that 20 hour battery life. But now let's get in the form factor. This is one of the ultimate grab and go speakers because that's what I just did. I grabbed it and I'm going, all right? It's in the palm of my hands. I don't have to use any extra muscle to pick it up like a Boombox 3 or an Extreme 3. I don't need a strap, don't need a carrying hand handle. And that's where I feel like you're getting the best of both worlds because it is almost the same size as a JBL Flip 6 
but the sad part is it is just oversized so it will not fit in your standard cup holder or bottle holder on a bicycle or something like that. So yeah, that's one of the downsides, but with that extra space in here, you get that booming space feeling sound that I love to get out of this thing. But back onto form factor, look at it, man. It's got the JBL tramp stamp on it. And to me, that actually makes it look better than their previous versions. It gives it this kind of fun, almost outdoorsy kind of look, especially in the uh, nice colorways that they have. This one's teal. They have like a blue, a red, camo, might have a pink. I don't know. They got a lot of different colors, but this is my favorite one. In fact, I have JBL's whole lineup of portable speakers in this color. Well, with the exception of the Boombox 3. But yeah, man, I love the aesthetics of it, but it comes uh, with a caveat too, because this to me right now, this looks like an outdoorsy kind of adventurous fun type of speaker. No matter what color you get it in, even if I got it in black or gray, it still has that, that almost like outdoorsy fun type of thing going for it, which is great because I feel like that's who and what they designed this speaker for as far as aesthetics go. But what if you wanted a speaker for your home to kind of match your decor? This ain't gonna cut it, man, in no colorway, not gray, <laughs> not black, no, you know, nothing dull like that. It's just not gonna really fit in into a like a homey landscape. So yeah, I wish that, um, it's not that I wish they would have changed it because I love it the way it is, but mm, man, would they make another version? Like, could they make like a JBL Charge 5.2 uh, <laughs> or, you know, the home version, you know, something that just looks better with furniture or on a shelf, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I'm assuming some of y'all understand what I'm getting at, man. Uh, Sony has done that with their speaker lineup with their new XG3 or XG300, I believe it is, and the XE series. You know, the XE series are, uh, to me, they're not that great sounding, but they look great in a home. And even the XG500 and XG300, they have that softer, more homey look. And I wish that JBL would actually, I love this, I love this. So I, I kind of wish they, they would make like its counterpart, JBL Charge 5, like home edition. Anyways, that's one of the things that I wish. Like, I don't want them to change it. I just wish that they would make another one. You know what I'm saying? Um, but one thing that I do wish this thing had is a speakerphone. Sony does have speakerphones or microphones on their speakers, and that's a huge plus because there's been plenty of times where I've been using this thing outdoors on my patio or wherever I've taken it, and I had a phone call come in, and I have to, you know, switch to my earbuds or pick up my phone because this does not have a microphone so I can catch that phone call. That would be great to have in here. And I know they can't do it via an update because there's no mics in here. But on the next version, man, it'd be great if JBL could throw in a microphone because that's just one added bonus into this already amazing speaker. One of the major reasons why I love this speaker so much and I think it's JBL's best portable speaker is the sound quality. There's no speaker in their portable lineup that compares with the sound quality that you get from this one. Well, with the exception of the Boombox 3, but that's a whole nother ball game right there. When we're talking about the Flip or the Extreme 3, it just does not compare. This out booms the Flip 6 and it out like qualities the Extreme 3. It just it sounds better. The Extreme 3 is just, it just sounds kind of muffled and, and depressed. Where this one's, this one, the JBL Charge 5, it brings life to your music. And that's on a flat EQ. The way it's delivered <clears throat> out of the box, it comes with a flat EQ within the app. Yes, you can EQ them with the three band EQ that they provide, but I don't really see the need to do that because it sounds perfect right out of the box with a flat EQ. It outperforms the Extreme 3, and of course it outperforms the Flip 6. So this is the best one. I don't know who's gonna be in the comments fighting me on this, <laughs> but I'm just saying, man, this is my truth right here. JBL has really outdone themselves in the case of the Charge 5, and I've loved using it over the last nine months. I've used it on my back patio. I've paired it up with my portable projectors to use outdoors and it delivered great sound, especially with vocals and, and like explosions and gunshots and stuff like that. I've taken it on trips with me. It's been great in a hotel. It's been great on the beach. This is the speaker to beat. In a lot of cases, not just in JBL's lineup. A lot of other companies try to come out with a JBL charge competitor and while they do a decent job of keeping up and competing with this bad boy, it's just almost impossible. 
because for the price point, you get that great sound quality, you get that amazing battery life, and you get JBL build quality. The quality of the materials that they use here, no other company out there, in my opinion, has matched that for this price point with the sound quality and battery life. It's, the, it's like the perfect combination. You got three different materials here, man. You got hard plastic, you got neoprene or silicone, you got, you got soft mesh, and you got a great aesthetic and great JBL sound. Now, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is this is JBL's best speaker, and this one is hard to beat in the mid-size speaker game. Fight me in the comments. I don't care. Now, the rest of y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. All right, so let me get this straight, man. You made it through this whole video from beginning to end without hitting the like button, you didn't hit the subscribe button, and you didn't even bother hitting the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I get some new stuff up in here. I see how it is though. It's always the one closest to you. You keep on doing you, boo-boo. See you when I see you.